the, tonight we have a very, very, very big treat for you guys. Uh, the first ever guest in the NSFW Summer Music Series was Jonathan Mann, Mr. Song and Day himself. And tonight he returns with a very... Uh, a very special friend, uh, folks, Nick Krill from the Spinto Band. They have been uh, doing, uh, as a full band, all these awesome songs throughout June. He had a Kickstarter for it. It's going to be a full album. And tonight, they are going to perform not one, but two songs from right. their June experience. It's right, super look. awesome. And by the way, I'm a big fat idiot. Thomas Hughes is here, not Nick Krill from Spinto. Uh, they were the other uh, awesome geniuses in that band. Uh, so, please... You're not going to want to miss this. This is going to be awesome. And also, they are live. They are rocking the office. Can we actually get a shot of them yeah. right now? They yeah, by the way. Uh, we, yes. We yes. have retrofit the, the Twit studio. office. Uh, guys, uh, what are you doing first? We're doing a song called uh, Are You a Real Person? There we go. Inspired by no. tr true events. Events that we, we've all sort of uh, we've all sort of had this experience. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you, rocking live for the first time ever in the Twit Cottage offices, Jonathan Mann and the Songatron Band. Are you a real person? Take it away, guys. One, two, three, four. Ones and zeros burned and broken Do you or do you not exist? I will accept you with arms wide open But if you're fake I will feel foolish Your friends are my friends but that's not conclusive I try to verify you but you are elusive Little bits arranged in rows and rows and just so and Now I am obsessed and I simply must know oh, oh, Are you a real person? 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 Flesh and bone is less deceiving I don't need no Turing test If I can touch you and feel you breathing Hear your heart beating in my chest But I don't know what your motivation might be When you look my way and you decide to friend me Far be it from me to disrupt the status quo Now I am obsessed and I simply must know Are you a real person? 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 Oh, are you a real person? Oh, are you a real person? If you're real, just say so. If we knew each other long ago. If you're real, baby, let me know Well, if you're real, then say hello Woo! Woo! Thank you, Ladies guys. and gentlemen, Jonathan Mann and Thomas Hughes It's Jonathan Mann and the Saga Trying Band uh, Real quick, I want to get uh, John and Thomas uh, back, up, back up to the mic here Because they are uh, working now we can go back to them with, with the camera. John, now you did a, a Kickstarter for the, the, the June project, which will eventually culminate in an album. You, you, uh, you guys did a Kickstarter, and part of it, part of the incentives, like, like you do, that's like the fun part of Kickstarter, is that if you give X, you get Y. You and, get and rewards. You, you get, get rewards. You get gifts yes. for, for, for contributing. Yeah. They're like badges, but they mean something. Right, right. Um, what, what one of them was uh, outgoing phone messages. Yes, yeah, right. At the fifty dollars, so you 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 know you uh, you donate fifty dollars to the cause, and then um, you get a an a, a, a sung 
outgoing message, a personalized outgoing message written by by myself and my my sort of compatriots. And and the Songatron band. And Songatron band, yeah, that's uh, right. Now, have you done any of them yet? We did all of them. We took a day and we we wrote thirty one outgoing <laughs> messages. The longest was thirty seconds. The shortest was five. Um, and we sent them all out to people. People seem to really like that. Could you could you give us one of them just so you can so everybody do, knows what we're talking do the, about? Do the what was that one that you were doing? Keith, 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 fabulous Keith. How's it go? Oh yeah, we also asked them for information about themselves. Sure. So that we could mention in the song. Yeah. So so you know, Kickstarter has a survey that I can send out, and I just said, hey, what's like one little fact about yourself that you'd like to be in? And Keith, I think was. I am fabulous. I'm fabulous. That was his. There we go. That was a, his a fact. fabulous man deserving of a fabulous outgoing message. Exactly. In, in so it goes New York to like <laughs> yes. this is what you get when you say you're fabul- fabulous. Keith. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, Keith, fabulous Keith. Leave him a message after the beep. There that we go. Keith. See? Yeah. Now that that is what we like to call an outgoing message. <laughs> uh now, John, when I was I was talking to Jonathan over email yesterday and we were organizing everything, he mentions this to me and he says, by the way, if you and Brian could have an outgoing message, uh, what would you want on it? So, Brian, here we go. Jonathan Mann and, and Thomas Hughes, go ahead. He's got pink skin and pointy hair. Leave him a message if you dare. He'll do anything for attention. <laughs> Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Brian, you know it's it's Justin's turn now. One, two. You've reached Justin, the man of no race. Hair growing out every side of his face. He smells like a truck and stop. He's offensive to all. Leave him a message. And he'll return your call. Yes! yes! I think you let him off so easy. So much but, better! <laughs> I'm sorry, I lied. It turns out yours is the message I'm going to put on my toll-free number. <laughs> because you got it. That's way better oh, than mine. Oh, come on! You just said that... I mean, Yours just says that you have pink skin, which is, by the way, true. Like, they say they smell like a <laughs> truck stop. <laughs> what does a truck stop smell like? Used condoms uh, and broken dreams. Hooker, That's what. A drug dealing hooker goat farm. <laughs> so I, I've decided that I'm going to uh, offer these to the general public. Hell yeah. For, it's, it's, it's cheap. It's $50, and you get either a ringtone or an outgoing message. Your also choice. worth it. At so songatron.com slash phone. Go there, there we go. And 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 uh, fill out a little form, your name, what you want it to say. You pay me through PayPal, you'll get one like that. Bada awesome. bing, bada boom. And and by the way, just just so I'm I'm so glad that we could do this on on air so people can see, you know, the, the process the here. Process, now is this yeah. is this gonna go like while while everybody else is in town during June? Is then it gonna stop after that or are you gonna go forever? Is this with, like an with act the, now with the messages thing? you mean? Yeah, the outgoing messages. Oh yeah, no, that's 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 yeah, that's forever. I'll I'll be doing those for people. Awesome. That's the plan. Awesome, but yeah. you shouldn't say Dude, that. that. You should awesome. say that they need to act within the no, next okay. day. All right. Well, I'm a, yeah, I'm a terrible salesman. So <laughs> you do it. You should sell it for me, you know? folks. Listen, uh, John doesn't want to mention this, but he has. Uh, Hey, Steve th- Jobs signed yes. off on this guy. Exactly. Yeah. Steve Jobs is a fan of, of his music. You should be, too. Uh, and, and I'm sure Steve is going to be throwing 50 bones your way. Oh, so man. He can, uh, that would be easy. Exactly. You're going to hear it in, in, a, in an iPhone keynote. You're just going to hear a Jonathan Mann ringtone awkwardly going off in the middle of it. <laughs> uh, but here, let's, let, me, let me talk to you guys real quick. How has this, this month been? Because the last time you were on the show, you were just about to start with it. Yeah. So the idea of this month was like that I'm writing – I've been writing a song a day for almost 1,000 days. I just passed nine hun- the day 900 recently. And um, the idea of this month was to bring a bunch of my friends together and sort of write song a day collaboratively. So I brought Thomas and Nick from the Spinto Band in and just had various friends come in. And um, it's been really great. It's been, it's been kind of wonderful actually. Like, you know, my skills, you know, if there's like a tiered – Thing of where my skills are, it's like I, I'm a I'm, I'm I'm best at writing songs, but then like as a recording engineer and a videographer, there's like you know way down here or something. So yeah, I've had other people to come in and sort of take over those roles for me, you know, and uh, 
it's really made a big difference, I think, in the quality uh, of uh, of the both of the sound of the songs and also in the production with these guys helping everything. It's been huge. You know, and and uh, I think it was Rabid Badger in the chat room said, uh, you know, to to describe you guys just just watching you right now is that it's a you know a, a Jonathan Colton they might be giants kind of vibe, uh, and uh, you know he meant that as as very high praise so as, as definitely I do huge. Infl- you know, they might be giants is definitely one of both of our biggest influences. In fact, while we were doing the outgoing messages, we kept coming back to fingertips. Um, yes, you know, they might be giants is thing on Apollo eighteen like. These, these, I don't know how many are there. Yeah, what is it? It's like it's like twenty or thirty 20 of or, them, and, and yeah. they're, you know, they're even shorter. I mean, they're like I think the longest one of theirs is like fifteen seconds. They're like some of them are like two seconds long, but they're just these little songs that go into one another, and that was a huge, you know, we kept yeah. saying, oh, we got to make it like fingertips. So, dude, and and you guys are so totally succeeding. Uh, like, where can people go to see all the stuff that you have done in June, and more specifically? Uh, they are the the fans are deciding which songs go on the album. That yeah, that's they can right. Buy, so, right. So the 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 album is made up of uh, you know there's 30 songs that we've done in June, and the album is be- going to be comprised of the best ones as chosen and voted on you know by by whoever you know happens to come across them, and also people who've been watching us you know for the last month. Yeah. Um, and so that's pretty exciting. Um, the place the best place to go you can go to songatron.com. Um, and watch us live. We, we we sort of live stream every day as we're working, so you can see the songs come together. And our last day is Thursday. If you want to see the um, all the videos, you go to my YouTube channel. Just, yeah. just YouTube dot com slash The Rock Cookie Bottom. Absolutely. Had you put that up there too, I guess. But whatever. And uh, <laughs> the other one is uh, you know my, I have a SoundCloud where you can just hear just the songs, and that's SoundCloud dot com slash Jonathan Man. Listen, uh, folks, if you have dug anything that you've heard over the last uh, hour b- between the ringtones and, and outgoing messages and, and the song and what you're going to hear at the end of this episode, um, you really go, need to go listen to these, uh, these songs. These are album-quality songs that are being made every single day. I cannot speak highly enough about about this project I, I, I cannot speak highly of them for yes, unfortunately, no matter everybody, afraid... all you said i'm sorry sir i have to reject you and i cannot speak highly uh good day <laughs> sir no seriously hey, these guys are so uh, I, awesome talking about volume let's turn up the volume on our musical guests True. yes and absolutely. play us out with the dulcet tones of of our fabulous latest music guest folks They've been such an important part of this episode, and I'm so excited to have them here. Jonathan Mann and the Songatron Band. Jonathan Mann and Thomas Hughes. Again, songatron.com or go visit youtube.com slash the rock cookie bottom. What are you guys performing? I'm really terrible at like the cross branding thing. I'm, I'm <laughs> awful at keeping one name. Uh, this is a song called Last Night I Dreamt I Was a Submarine. Here we go. Performing last night, I jumped out as a th- submarine for the summer music series. Jonathan Mann and the Song of Tron Band. Take it away. And it's a true story. Last night, I dreamt I was a submarine. I dove right into my bed and I woke up my girlfriend. I sleep so heavily, she sleeps so light. It's a miracle when she sleeps through the night, oh, oh. Kick, kick, punch, punch, now I take all the covers. Roll, roll, right out of bed, I'm an active sleeping lover. Just throw me right out of bed and get a good night's rest. If we were birds, I'd probably fall out of the nest and onto the ground unless I had wings and then I would fly I'd sleep in the sky I'd sleep in the clouds and land on the ground and dream of being a submarine Woo! Thanks, guys. That about wraps it up for this episode of NSFW. Again, Jonathan Mann and Thomas Hughes, songatron.com. Until next week, kids, see you next Tuesday. Yeah, guys, do me a favor. Why don't y'all die in a fire? Love you.